Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing a bonus question on June 12th, uh, 2025. I, I don't know, I struggle the year. But yeah, but let's do a prompt that I haven't done yet and uh, keep it out go, I think. And let's, yeah, YOLO some, uh, how many prompts do we have left? I don't know what 286 points mean, but um, I actually don't know how many prompts I've left. Does it tell me? I'm just curious for science. Oh no, it's infinite scrolling, so we don't know. Um, so let's pick a random one by clicking pick one. And today we have a, uh, a medium prompt that we haven't done yet, so that's exciting. It is a premium prompt though, so my apologies if you're following or you're trying to do a bonus question. Sometimes it is going to be premium, uh, and it is, you know, the nature of RNG. All right, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 366, find leaves of binary tree. Given the root of a binary tree, coll collect a tree's node as if you were doing this. Collect all the leaf nodes, remove all the leaf nodes, repeat until you're empty. Okay, but what does that mean? Oh, so then you put... Wait, what? What does root mean? Or what does like, this mean? It's a very weird uh, thing. Root of a binary tree, collect the tree nodes if you were doing this. But like all leaf nodes, remove all leaf nodes, repeat it. What? They don't explain the input enough. Like, what does this mean? Oh, this input is just weird. I guess here, now that I look at this, it's just a tree node. Okay, the examples, they need to be a little better. Maybe it's automatic formatting, and that's how they set it up. It's still really awkward. Um, okay, at least to read. But, okay, fine. So we have a node, all right, so... <clears throat> I think the first thing that we look at is the constraint, and the reason is because n squared is a very easy algorithm um, in the sense that, yeah, in the sense that um, you, one iteration of one iteration would take o of n, right? You remove all the leaves, you do another iteration. Also, say o of n. I mean, it's a small o of n, but you can say o of n. And as a result, well, then you have n squared because you're going to do that. I guess it's not n times. Is that true? Well, it could be. Uh, it's a very complicated, uh, but it's easy to say n squares the upper bound. Um, you can be probably find a tighter bound if you really try for it, because you can say that. I what I was gonna say is, if you have a linked list and you remove one at a time, well, that's gonna be n elevation, but you're removing one element. Oh no! But in that case, you still look at every node. So okay. So if you're not doing it in a smart way and you're looking at every node uh, as like a depth of search or something, um, then it's going to be O of N every time, no matter how many nodes you remove. And if you move one leaf at a time, that's going to be N squared. So that is a hard case if you implement it that way. What can we do a little bit better? Well, the way that we think about leaf nodes is just that... Um, uh, uh, or one other way to think about leaf nodes is that it's uh, a dependency graph, right? Uh, in a way, because now you remove leaves because nothing depends on it anymore, kind of, right? Um, and And... And as a result of that, then you can think about topological sort. And topological sort, of course, is linear, and that is something that we can do. So let's set it up. Um, we just have to set it up in a good way, say, right? So maybe, um, mm, yeah, let's just create a dependency list, right? So maybe I have something like this. Is you go to collections dot take of list, right? Um, and here, wait, are all the values unique? I guess all the values are not always unique. Maybe it doesn't matter, but yeah, because we still return the int, not the node itself. So it's actually a little bit awkward the way they phrase it uh, because because they're not unique. It's a little bit awkward, but okay. But then now we can construct this list with a breadth first search or depth first search, just a traversal of the tree, right? Maybe you can write traversal, traverse, but a node, right? So then now, if a node is a parent of a child, then what does that mean, right? That means that the child will get first before the node, meaning that the child is a dependency on the parent. So maybe you can say if node <coughs> is none, then we just return, say, keep it easy. If node.left is not none, <coughs> then we want to say node.left, the dependency of node.left is you go to well, this is actually a reverse dependency, but yeah, we node 
uh, right? And then if no dot right is not none, we do the same thing. And we are mostly good with the node, right? Uh, with the dependency setup, we traverse from the root, and that should create this thing. Uh, of course, we are still doing a topological sort, so we can do we could do it in, in an other loop. Like for example, you can maybe say, um, you know, for we for k in that list of keys or something, right? We can keep track of in degrees, is what I want to say, but I, I guess I forgot to say it, right? Because this is just topological sort, which I'm not going into in detail, but definitely, um, yeah, definitely look it up. Uh, okay, actually, I was going to create an array, but I guess it may be more accurate to put it in a thing because then now we could map a node to the number of um, uh, collections that counter, actually, is what I want. Because then now we can map a node to the counter, right? To a number, or uh, the, the number of in degrees that it has. And then here, we know that that means that uh, in degrees of node increment by one, right? Also, I messed up here. I, I, I just realized, of course, which is that here, then we should also traverse node.left, right? And same, traverse node.right, right? Pretty reasonable, uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I, why I just did a evil laugh. I don't know. I think something just came to my mind. But in any case, unrelated, uh, so my apologies. But okay, yeah, so, you know, this is a traverso. We actually made a traverso, and then now you, now you can do... Uh, a standard um, topological sort. And of course, just to be clear, n squared is good enough because n is 100. I, I kind of, I did, I glanced over it a little bit uh, because I know that there's an O of n. Uh, and this is what we're doing. We're doing the O of n. We're up solving a little bit. Up solving before we actually solve. But, you know, if you see it, you see it, I suppose. And that's what I'm trying to do. Right, so here, and then now while length of Q is greater than zero, right? Uh, oh, oh, we have to put stuff on the Q, right? So then now, mm, yeah, I guess we needed to do a thing anyway. So then now for node and in degrees that uh, keys, then in degrees of node, if this is equal to zero, if this is equal to zero, um, that's not, uh, that is true but not correct. Uh, um, so the reason is because in degrees only hold variables, unless we decrement, which we don't, uh, only hold keys where we do something. So that means that we have to write something like um, here for every node, we actually want to set, uh, let's just say this, because then now this will create an entry for every node, assuming that I type, type node correctly. Yeah, I have a key for every node and uh, yeah, so then now this should work as expected, I hope. Anyway, then now this is just a regular uh, thing. Oh, but you have to put them together. So maybe I'm wrong. Or not that I'm wrong. It's just that... Um, uh, how did I do it? It's not that I'm wrong. It's just that you have to be careful, right? Um, so we can definitely do this. Do, 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 do. And I think the idea is to just have... Um, just have two decks. I think it's fine, right? So then current. Uh, is equal to Q dot pop left, right? So then maybe now we have an answer, do, 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 right? So Q dot pop left. So then now we do the the current stuff, which is um, for node in uh, depth list of current. So these are the dependency that or reverse dependency really. Uh, then now we want to say in degrees of node decrement, right? And if in degrees of node is equal to zero, normally we will write Q dot append node, right? Because that, that means that now we want to relax this part of topological sort. But actually, just to keep them on a list level, almost like uh, order le or what's it called? Level level first traversal, I could do NQ, right? And then now that would be good. And then now we give you something if len q because we pop this uh, is equal to zero, uh, then q is equal to n q. That's basically it. Uh, and then oh well, and create a new one. Um, kind of. It's not. It's basically it. But we we haven't even updated answers. So how can, right can it be right? So here 
we do something like do 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 dot append current, and that's it. And then whenever we we do this thing, we want to create a new uh, list. So then maybe we do um, answer dot append an empty array. Uh, and then the thing is that the reason why I'm like going uh, is, is um, that this will on the last last entry this will give us an extra uh, thing so we just have to take a cap for it which means that we want oh uh, maybe I can say if length of Q is greater than zero then we do this we could have also just pop it to be frank but, but yeah, that means that we have future things to relax so then now we can just return answer and that should be good. I'm actually wrong a little bit again because this should be no dot value, but that's a very minor thing. Hopefully. We'll see if this is good. Uh, Q is not associated with a right. Oh, that's just me being dumb. This should be obviously be before. That's an easy fix as well. Uh, type error. Am I returning a node somewhere? I might be returning a node somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. This, no, that doesn't make sense. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. This, we want this to be a node, but this, we, uh, current is where I, uh, I confused because I was doing, I was trying to do it too quickly. But this returns a node, and here we want to append to answer the values over here. But here it doesn't make sense for that to be value because we still want to return the node. And here we look good. It's quick, a quick submit. Hopefully it's good. And apparently we're very, we're very slow for some reason. Uh, maybe n square is faster because there's a lot as you can see there's a lot of complexity in setting this up um, and we're not that slow we're like three microsecond but um, we're apparently it can be done faster but this is o of n right time and space um, yeah I, I I am wondering whether is it like a better way but maybe not I mean I've mm, I guess, yeah, I mean, I think think about it in topological sort is fine, obviously, because we submitted it. But I guess another way to think about it is actually um, the distance from the distance from any leaf, right? Because I guess that's the better way is the distance from any leaf, because if you had the actual leaf, then you have zero. Um, if then now one parent of that is going to be one distance away from removing. And then now you can also do that if, if the two the left and the right is unbalanced then you just take the max of that actually let's, let's write that real quick i think we can write that real quick right so yeah so then now we want to transverse from root uh yeah i guess the first thing that jumped into me is this but the other thing is actually i think more elegant in general uh okay so this is regular traversal what do we want to what is everyone do again okay so if this is a leaf Then we want, um, so this is a leaf, then we return zero. Yeah, maybe we could return zero. Uh, this one, we, we, we negative. No, this return, yeah, negative infinity is fine, maybe. Uh, yeah, and then here, I want to write this, but it should be fine. And then actually we want to do this after the other traversal. Um, no, maybe it doesn't matter actually. For this one, it maybe doesn't matter. Um, but the idea here is that we are doing a reverse shortest path from the leaves kind of. So then answer of zero is going to be... Uh, a, we want to say, maybe we could say... Uh, we will use a helper is what I mean. He, here we want to add zero, no dot value, right? And then here the helper is going to be that add. Uh, we have the level uh, or distance from the leaf and then the value and then here the idea is that if a uh, while length of answer is less than level we just want to pen this thing um, and then answer of level dot a pen value I think this is equal to actually because if this is zero and this is zero we have to append it so that level is a thing and then yeah we have this and then now now we return a left we return a right well i guess we don't even need to do that anymore so then here we have left and the right um and then max of left and the right is going to be we want to add um yeah so we want to return this but we also want to set level which is add 
uh, max of left right plus one uh, and then no dot value right so here and maybe we can set m is equal to this thing so we don't do the same calculation twice and a little bit unnecessary optimization prop optimization probably but i am anal about it uh okay well returning no is not good because we just didn't return answer so that should be easy fix hopefully it's still right um yeah looks okay so let's give it a quick submit i wonder if it's faster and yeah you can see it's faster because it's just less complexity right still over then but less complexity and it's just um you know requires thinking about it a little bit differently and I also want to say, even though this is faster than the other one, uh, the, the top logic goes to an answer, I don't want anyone to think the other one is wrong. I mean, maybe there's a little bit more complexity, so it's a little bit slower, but there are different ways to solve different problems. Or oh, sorry, they, in this case, there are different ways to solve the same problem, and diff but which is fine for this particular one. And as problems get harder, you know, having been able to touch different ways and different things will benefit you in the long run but yeah uh, that is all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching i uh, hope this was more interesting than the, the other problem but yeah stay good stay healthy to get mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye